Obtaining and using an electronic Snellen for home testing. I will strongly suggest Tumbling Ease is a good idea. You'll find the program under Play Store and just type Electronic Snelling Snellen in Google Play and you'll find the program. Um, there is the program downloaded Snellen Chart. So let's open it up. What you see is Acuity, Dual Chrome, and Settings. Um, we will hit Acuity. And what you have is Tumbling Ease. In this case, it shows 2125. This is visual acuity that should be measured at 20 feet or 6 meters. You should read half the letters correctly. Sweeping up changes the letter. In this case, we have 2050. Incidentally, the DMV requires 2040 in both eyes or both eyes together and 2070 in one eye and 2040 in the other. You've got to do better than that. But it's a good thing to check before you go for your DMT test. Again, getting down to 2020. There's 2020. That letter should be about 9 tenths centimeter. Now, you can change the um, letter by sweeping left to right. Now this is a very good test for the simple reason that all you have to do is point the direction of the letter or the E up, down, left, right. It's probably the best test for visual acuity available. Back to out of it. Change the settings, you go to hit the settings and you get tumbling E selected. Now you change to optotype, which is the conventional by hitting Snellen letters. And that's loaded. And you go back and hit acuity. And now you have the letter Snellen letter sequence. Um, again, this is a good test to go home. Your visual acuity changes quite a bit day to day, week to week. And to get a very accurate judgment, it's a good idea to go to this test at home. Particularly with children who often give bad answers in an eye test in, a, in a, uh, the pressure of an office. You really can't get a good idea of what their visual acuity actually is. So if you're very serious, about your child, then check to see he's reading the 2040 line. I personally believe that we should keep a minus lens off a child if he's able to read the 2040 line. But of course, this is your judgment. There are some optometrists who will say the same thing. Others will just say, give the kid a strong minus and have him wear the minus lens all the time. I have to disagree with that concept. But there's certainly a matter of personal responsibility and objective measurement that is required. In any event, I will post some more information on this test. And it is not really up to you. Again, this is the second version. And uh, you can try it. I hope you enjoy it.